Hello YouTube, this is DXLinkJ here with a Minecraft video. And here it is, this is an update to my computer. And this is an 8-bit adding machine that I've built. And, well, here, let me show you. This adding machine can take numbers. Well, it adds them, basically. That's all it really does. And... I, this didn't really take me long to build. It only took me like a week or so. Actually, less than that. I've just been really busy with schoolwork, so I haven't had a chance to make a video. So let me show you the adding machine. Let's take a number. Um, how about um? Let's take seven. Seven. Yeah, that'll work. And then let's go over there. I've built a cart station for this. It's much easier and much faster to get over there and get to the outputs. Let's just go to the beginning of it in my cart. Did I say station? I meant railway or whatever these are called. Off we go. I don't think that worked very well. Oh well. This little thing, this railway, hasn't been working right because animals keep spawning. But it seems to be working okay right now. And see, I guess we're doing 7 plus 0 because I forgot to get off. So let's just, I'm going to show you the output over here. So 7 plus 0 is. Seven. See? One, two, four. And in case you don't know how binary numbers works, it goes like this. Since binary numbers is based on two, it's it's multiples of two. So you start with one plus two plus four equals seven. So that's seven right there. And because these are all zeros, that just means that these aren't on, so there's zeros obviously and here I'm gonna cut to the next clip so I can actually show you something that I add so here's the other input bus and I apologize for the quality of these videos I don't have a very good screen recorder but um, so for now you just have to deal with it um, so we have seven over there I didn't change it seven plus three we'll do that seven plus three let's go back over here because I well yeah we'll just walk over there take the long way and I I built these little boosters right here for these mine tracks they go a little faster because it's pretty long and uh, after I show you this I will show you each little piece of this 8-bit adding machine because although it didn't take very long designing it in the first place was pretty hard because you have to design each bit and then you can clone it so it becomes multiple bits okay so 7 plus 3 equals um, okay then something must not be working right because 7 plus 3 does not equal four hmm what's going on here let's take a look uh they all seem to be connected right huh see I've I really haven't had much time to work on this so there's a lot of bugs in here or animals <laughs> um there's a lot of bugs and it hasn't been working right sometimes I add numbers and it works like I've added 250 plus 106 62 and it came out with the right answer but for some reason it can't add these small numbers hmm oh well I guess I'll have to fix it but for now I'll just show you each little piece of the computer as you might be able to tell, this video is a little less scripted. I'm just going along with it. 
normally in my videos I plan out what I'm gonna do but I'm not really in this one okay so here is one little bit of the 8-bit adding system and it starts off with two uh, two inputs so it's starting to get dark starts oh yeah and by the way I like this new Halloween update with the the nice shading of the sky and the the nether or is it slip the nether yeah okay so back on topic it starts off with two input bits and puts both of them into an X or and I still have to figure out how to say that X or here and then it goes over and at the same time when the two input bits go over here it puts them into an and an and gate yeah and takes it over like that I it can't really explain it it just works but here's an XOR gate here's an AND gate here's a NAND gate is that NAND gate? that's an AND gate too and that's another XOR gate and basically this is how it does does addition um, this computer this I keep saying computer 8-bit adding machine this adding machine hasn't really been uh, I forget what the word is but I haven't really made it so it's a lot smaller a lot more condensed because right now it takes up a lot of space and if I want to build a bigger computer I can't take up so much space okay my screen recorder is going all crazy on me but as I was saying before this is an input bus this takes the inputs and puts it on all of the adders this is another input bus. It also puts it on all of the adders. And at the very end, there's an output bus that takes all the, after it's done all the math, it puts it, it shows the output. And I figured out, I think I figured out what the problem was. I need to turn this carry in bit on because it's doing math that it has to, you know, when you're doing a normal math and you add something that's bigger than 10, you gotta carry the one or carry the two or whatever it does the same thing here and I forgot to put that on so let's go over here and yeah my screen recorder is getting really bad wow I don't know if you heard that but like six cows just moved at once oh my gosh okay so um I forgot what I was saying stupid cows okay yeah I need to not move my screen as much because it can't record it very well now let, let's go over here and see if it fixed it, me doing that. Also something I've noticed is navigating around this is really hard because it's just, it just doesn't work. I mean, like I can't go through here and if I try and go through here, it will break it. It'll mess everything up. So seven plus three. Oh, come on. Doesn't make sense. This is off when it should be on. And these are all on. Yeah, I must have really messed something up. But it was working before, trust me. Um, once I fix this, I'm going to start working on the rest of my computer. And it's the rest of my computer is going to consist of an ALU with not a lot of RAM just a tiny little bit of RAM because it's really hard to make and I don't know if I'm gonna do the rest of his CPU with like a control section and whatnot I, th I don't think I will I think I'm just gonna add RAM and build the rest of the CPU but for now this is my a bet adding machine that isn't working at the moment but it was working before so Uh, thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe bye